Hey everyone, I'm out tonight to uh, shoot a quick video on uh, the heat and buffeting issues on Victory Cross Countries. I don't know if this uh, if this will help you with any of the other bikes if you have the same problem but it's what I did to uh, take care of this one and I have been pretty much I pretty much had the heat and buffeting under control for uh, years um, so once I find a spot that's nice So as I was saying, as soon as I find a spot that's halfway decent to record, I will show you exactly what I did. And then I'll take a little bit of the highway back to prove it to you. I know it's like 60 degrees out today, so the heat part doesn't matter, but you're just going to have to trust me on that. But you can't feel it anyway through the camera, so in a minute. Alrighty, found a spot that's uh, pretty quiet. I might have to stop for some traffic noise every once in a while. Let's talk about Victory Cross Countries and heat and buffeting issues. Now, you know if you own one of these bikes or if you're planning on owning one of these bikes, there's a big issue with heat and buffeting. There's a tremendous amount of buffeting in the stock form with the stock windshield and not set up properly. Um, the biggest issue is airflow coming under the tank, shooting up here through this beautiful design and hitting under the helmet. Also, the windshield does contribute a little bit because um, there's so much distance that if you have a solid windshield on here, it creates a vortex behind and blows up under you and buffets you some more. Now, Traditionally, you know, you put a bigger windshield on, you would put on hard lowers, uh, uh, fork, uh, fork shields, and that kind of thing. Some people put that chin spoiler under here. Anything that you do um, to block the wind actually contributes to um, a problem with tremendous heat that this huge engine makes. Um, and anyone that's experienced it, <laughs> it is enough to burn you. It's given me scalding burns. It scalded my wife's leg on a ride once when we had hard lowers on this thing. So um, you're constantly fighting whether you want buffeting or whether you want heat. Here's my solution. First of all, a Mad Stad windshield. Um, this is, uh, I believe, the 9-inch. It's been a lot of years since I put it on, but I believe it's the 9-inch Madstad shield. I know some people think it's ugly. I'm totally used to it, and it's just part of the bike. I don't think it looks that bad anyways in, a, like, a light smoke. It is adjustable by loosening these. So, if you're on the highway and you want more wind protection, you can actually raise it up. I'm six feet tall and the nine inch is fine. I usually don't have to touch it. In fact, when I do the highway run, I'm gonna leave it in the position that I normally do, which is like a quarter of an inch up from full low. You can also adjust it tilting wise to block more wind, but you know, you get it set up for your liking. That's not really the issue. I mean, that's not really the major issue. It takes away quite a bit of buffeting, but there's other things you have to do. Now, just a word about the winglets. They don't do shit for, for buffeting. All they do is direct air either around your legs while you're moving or toward your chest. They don't do anything to cool the bike. They don't do anything for buffeting. If you've put them on, you've spent a lot of money on them, you know this. They are nice to have because you can... Uh, Adjust uh, wind flow for temperature and move the wind around on you a little bit, but it doesn't do anything for buffeting or heat. These are something that I made and 
if you're going to do something like this, you kind of have to figure out your own way around it. The part that I'm going to show you is made by a company called Bad uh, Ace Billet, and they are no longer in business by Jim. You know, it was owned by Jim. He was like a genius. Uh, they were, this part was intended to go under here and stick out in black wind coming up. Um, they never worked very well there. Or at least I thought they didn't work very well there. So this part is, uh, is a tank winglet, I guess they called it. Um, I guess something like this wouldn't be too hard to develop if you were going to do it by yourself. Uh, but you have to do something like this to, to finally give yourself a solution to buffeting and heat. Um, as I was saying, they used to go here and stick out sort of like like that and of course that dug into the inner thigh these are hard plastic and have a have a pointy end they, they would dig into your thigh every time you grab the bike so um, they would never really work too well there but I got the idea to attach them to the cheese wedge and this is the part and it's all it's covered with uh, vinyl wrap um, but it's just black plastic. I could take that off, but you know, this thing's got 73,000 miles on it, and these, this has been on for years. Anyways, they're attached to the to the cheese wedge. They fit almost flush, almost flush to the tank. So what they do, what they do is stop wind from coming down the tank. They deflect it this way and out and down and away from coming up and it works like a charm this the combination of the Madstad windshield and parts like this did the trick and I have been um, dealing I've been pretty much not having to deal with any buffeting or uh, or heat issues for years and I was about to get rid of this bike because it was so bad uh, they were it was uh, one foot out the door, believe me. Um, I also have some uh, made by AZ Leather, some some heat guards. They don't do much either. I mean, they do some, but you know, they're not going to prevent the heat once you once you um, block the wind. Now, so for colder weather, you should get some type of um, if you have highway bars, J um, or the forge bars, you should get something to to block the wind because in the winter or in colder weather. Um, of course, you can you can uh, benefit from having some wind blockage. I use soft lowers. You know, you have to basically leave it open to control the heat. If you do anything to block wind in here during uh, hot temperatures, let's say 75, 80, and above, the heat from the engine just becomes ridiculous and scalding ridiculous. Um, as you know, if you've experienced it. Um, but in cooler weather, it's not an issue so you may want to even control um, your temperature and maybe even some further uh, wind buffeting by putting something in the, the lowers I use these soft closeouts I just carry them in my bag and if it gets cold pop them on or if it's raining I can pop them on uh, and that's it that's the solutions I hope something like this helps you again. You know, maybe you could 3D print something like this. Or um, try to find a set of the tank wings from a Bad Ace Billet. Or get some type of, uh, some type of uh, polymer and make your own. But this is the key to stopping buffeting. And you also need to take care of that windshield. You can't have a solid windshield up there. All right, happy riding, and hope this helped you. Um, let me get up on the highway and uh, prove it all to you. <laughs> all right, anyways, I have a showy uh, GTA R2 full face on with the visor down. I'm up in the wind. Seventy-five. No buffeting. I'm perfectly comfortable. 
could even cut it a little more. I got the uh, no covers in on the highway bar, so those are open. It's about 58 degrees. It's a nice break from the summer heat, right? So that's uh, 75. Let's take it down to 60. Well, there's nobody behind me. At 60. Oh, the bike doesn't want to drive 60. It doesn't like it. But at 60, it, uh, it's pretty sedate. <laughs> like nothing this helmet's kind of noisy it's got weird wind noise they say it's like supposed to be quiet but trust me it's not if I was doing a long tour on this definitely have to your plug up anyways not about the helmet let's take it up to like some normal highway speeds 85 no buffeting I remember the first time I took this on a trip to New Hampshire where the speed limit was like 75. Holy crap, I thought my, literally it, it rocked the glasses off my face. It was horrible. And then nice and steady at 80. Nice. 